Hello, everybody. So I have been following this Amber Heard, Johnny Depp trial since kind of the beginning. I got more into it when Johnny took the stand and it then followed with Amber and now watching all of the other witnesses. But recently, a secret was exposed that Amber Heard's dad was jailed for running dog fighting rings and they were pit bulls being slayed in bloody death matches yeah who would have thought so as we know johnny depp's ex-wife amber heard is holding a deep and dark family secret that her dad ran an illegal dogfighting ring that led to his incarceration. That's the revelation from Paul Barassi, who was once hired by Amber Heard's legal team to find evidence against Johnny Depp. Instead of finding people who had been verbally or physically abused by Johnny, as Amber Heard has claimed, the real-life Ray Donovan uncovered a previously not-known sickening past. Paul Barassi, a Hollywood fixer, uncovered that the father of Amber Heard, a self-proclaimed animal lover, was once arrested, convicted, and served jail time for animal cruelty by orchestrating a cruel, heartless, torturous pit bull ring in Texas in the 1980s. Now, Radar was the news source who obtained the criminal court filings from Midland County, Texas, that revealed David Clinton Heard, who Amber has described as having struggled with alcohol and drug abuse issues his whole life, ran an unspeakable animal abuse ring involving no less than seven pit bulls on his property of 10 acres of land. Law enforcement also found narcotics and professional poker equipment on the property. Now, I do have what Radar found, and I do want to show you that. So this is the first document, which I will zoom in for you guys so we can take a better look at it, because this one has the most evidence in it from everything that they had put out there, put it that way. So this is just pretty much saying that on behalf of the state of Texas, that David Clinton Heard, who is a the defendant here, did then and there unlawfully, intentionally and knowingly caused one animal to wit a dog to fight with another animal to wit a dog. Now, this is just one of the filings that they had put out. They also put out this, which is how much he paid in fines and court costs. They put this out, which just is his bail information and when his next court date is, all of that good stuff. And a promise to appear in court with his bail bond slip and all of that. So they didn't put out really any of the court case filings or what happened during the case and all of that. They just put out these four documents proving that he was arrested, he was sentenced and jailed for animal cruelty. 
So let's go back to the details of what we have, though, thanks to Paul Barassi. So David, Amber's father, pled guilty and was jailed briefly for only 15 days, getting off relatively scot-free on the charge of cruelty to animals by pleading nolo contenderary. Now, this is a plea that is a lot like a guilty plea. It carries the same fundamental consequences, but it's not an official admission of guilt. Ironically, though, it was Johnny Depp who was betrayed to be an animal abuser in his scandalous high court of London legal battle against the Sun newspaper that labeled him a wife beater in an article published back in April of 2018. Johnny sued news group newspapers, who is the publisher of The Sun, over the accusations that he was violent toward Amber, but the newspaper maintained its article was accurate. In the article, there were a large amount of damaging evidence from claims of defecating in a bed, which we now know who did that, writing on a mirror in blood, and revelations of drug and alcohol abuse. But one of the more disturbing allegations was that Johnny had dangled a dog out of a moving car. The court heard Johnny Depp was traveling in a car with Amber and her Yorkshire Terrier named Pistol, as well as her sister, which we also know from the court case, Miss Whitney. <laughs> they do look very similar, I will say that too. Along with Johnny's assistant, Holmes, a driver, and when Johnny allegedly dangled the dog out the window. The son's lawyer, Sasha Wass QC, said during the court case in London, when you were in the car, you were smoking and you opened the window and you were angry and you were aggressive. This is what she told Johnny Depp on the witness stand who replied with, no, not in that, I was not in that mode at all. He was then accused of holding pistol out the window and making howling noises. Johnny described this claim as an absolute uttery falsivity and fraudulent and added, I don't think hanging an animal, a small defenseless dog that weighs three pounds out a window is fun. He was also asked if he had laughed at a suggestion of putting the pet in a microwave. He responded by saying that it was a running joke between himself and Amber and others. Johnny stated in court that he wouldn't say that he was the inventor of the particular joke and also he wouldn't he wasn't the only one who brought anything like that up johnny also admitted to the dog once getting hold of a little ball of hashish as the bbc reported the star's libel claim was dismissed by justice N nicole who found the son's accusations to be substantially true and ruled in the publisher's favor. The judge found Johnny Depp had assaulted Amber Heard on a dozen of occasions and put her in fear of her life three times. But 
As Paul Barassi states, in America, it is more difficult to seize on proper, unspeakable instances in accordance with unspeakable behaviors as it is prejudice the judge or jury can offer grounds for an appeal. But in this high court case, not so. The judge allowed the evidence of the dog, aka pistol incident, to be heard. Paul also stated he had previously read that Amber's father was an abusive alcoholic and that throughout his years of working in Hollywood, he knows women often enter into relationships with men who are like their father. That's when Paul had a sudden desire to look into her father's background, which he claims wasn't planned and was on a whim and entirely of his own volition. He dove into the state of Texas archive and went through and unearthed the shocking documents and proof about Amber's dad. Paul stated he found himself, he found, however, that the apple didn't fall far from the tree. And he couldn't help but ask whether Amber and members of her family, Miss Whitney, <laughs> knew that her father was a ringleader of a barbaric dog fight that rendered pit bulls maimed and dead how cruel i i would hope that these two women didn't know about this but how could they not it's their father and knowing that how can you live with yourself i'm sorry that's just i would not be very happy with my father knowing that but unfortunately, right now, Johnny is still fighting Amber Heard in a separate liable battle in Virginia over a 2018 Washington Post opinion piece in which Amber claimed to be a victim of domestic violence, but did not mention the actor by name. It is a $50 million defamation case, which I myself have been following. It has been going on now for the last couple weeks, and we are now nearing the end of the trial. So if you are interested in watching and wanting to know more, about what is going on, I would suggest watching Rakita Law or even Emily D. Baker. I also know that DUI Guy, who is an attorney, will be there tomorrow, present in the courtroom, and he will be going more in depth of how it is to like be in the courtroom and looking at the jury and talking about what he sees when he's looking at the jury, hearing testimonies, and he's a really awesome attorney. He often takes panel with Rakita Law, and that's actually how I found him, because he's been a guest on the panel during this Amber Heard uh, and Johnny Depp court case. And um, this is his second time now. Hopefully, hopefully he gets into the courthouse tomorrow. He was in there last week, and he did do a live regarding how it was being in the courtroom and how he got to talk to Johnny's attorney, Miss Vasquez. And it was just a really good video. I'll link his channel as well as Rakita Law and, of course, Emily D. Baker. And if you guys are interested, they do broadcast it from start to finish. I do know that the judge has put a strict timeline for this court case, and she wants to go into deliberation by Memorial Day, like 
that weekend before Memorial Day. So that way they can kind of get what they need to do done and over with. So catch this last week while you can. And I hope that you enjoyed this little video of what I found about Amber Heard's dad. I was pretty shocked when I found all of this and I couldn't believe that her dad was a dog fighting master per se. Um, it's kind of disgusting. And I know it doesn't put Amber at anything. Like it doesn't charge her with that crime and you can't hold her accountable because that was her dad that did the crime. But it just puts more of an insight to her past, what her family is like. She often covers for her dad all the time, especially in this case. Johnny did take care of Amber's family, both her dad and Whitney. It's been said throughout the whole entire trial. And I know my boyfriend would do the same for my family and I would do the same for his. But I myself, like I said, if I knew my dad did something like this, we might not be talking right now. That's you. You can't do something like that and just be OK with it. Yes, it would probably take years and years of healing and talking. And yes, you can forgive somebody if they have changed. From everything I've heard in this trial, it seems that he still has issues. But everyone's relationship is different and we can't hold her accountable. I just wanted, though, to let you know about what Paul Barassi uncovered while looking into evidence to show that Johnny Depp was a bad guy. And here he is finding evidence that Amber's father was an even worse guy. I mean, this trial is insane in the membrane. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think below. How do you feel about hearing all of this now? And do you think that Amber should even really be talking to her dad or as forgiving as she has been to her dad, knowing about what he's done to animals? I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Like I said, we all are entitled to our own opinions but I wouldn't take this lightly if that was my dad. I love my animal and my pet is my world. Though it's not a dog, it's a cat. I still cherish that little ball of energy. <sighs> like she is my world. So I can't imagine my father pitting seven pit bulls against each other to their death as something I would take lightly. Like, maybe she is. But let me know what you think. I want to know what you think about this. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening and a great day tomorrow. And check out those channels below because they will be covering the rest of the trial, which we are getting to the end. So let's see what happens. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Bye, everyone.